given a three numbers a b c print the minimum and maximum number okay we have to print the minimum and maximum that is a very very simple question you have to use the if else block okay so there is a like uh, here is that like you can put the uh, nested if else okay nested if else so let's try to like what is nested if else like if then there is a one condition again this else if there's another condition is like else if again so there's a, a lot of blocks under the like if else statement and the and the last one is else it's a chain of if, if else okay and it is a nested kind of thing and you should apply it here for this question and you can use like max function too there's a max function in c++ stl you can use that too but definitely try to in uh, try to do it with uh, if else okay so let's try to submit this code So int a b c scene a scene b scene c. Now how do I check it? Like tell me like how do I check it? What should be the condition for making b? If a greater than b and a greater than c, then then max value should be a, na? Yes or not? Is it is it true, na? Ah uh, yes, sir. So if a greater than b and a greater than c, then it will go to the c out. Uh, one is max. How do I print it? Like, uh, we have to print minimum, then we have to print maximum. Okay. So let's try to print it first minimum. Okay. Okay. So if a is less than b. And a is less than c, then c out is a is minimum. Can I say that? Else, if if b is less than a, and b is less than c, c out b. Now b is minimum. And the else is c out c is minimum. Yes or not? Do you understand this concept right now? Did you get the? Did you get it? How do I find mean? Now, how do I find max? If b greater than c, okay, c out max is b. Else, c out c. In this mean, a is mean. If in mean. You have to select like B or C. Now B, if B is C, if B is greater than C, then B is max. Else C is max. The same thing applied in every block of if if A greater than C, then C out A, and then uh, and then else C out C and then. and here if a greater than b, c out uh, a, and uh, and else c out b and uh. one thing you can notice that uh, uh, after printing minimum statement, you see that I have given the uh, empty brackets and you see that there's a space are there because after minimum you see that there's a space. See that. So if I don't give the space, it will give the wrong answer because the format is like you have to print minimum, then you have to print uh, space, then you have to print maximum number. Okay, so let's try to it. Now I understood this concept. The nested if nested if else okay and then you have to do and. Uh, Okay, see that you are getting AC. Just print it out. You can use the max function too, okay? But uh, try to do it if else, okay?
think there is a match or concept there maybe okay there may be chances that like i okay so let's figure out like where it will fail okay let's try to figure out i'll make my own test case okay and how do i pick it test case see that we are getting wa on test day wa on test 7 see that we are getting wa on test 7 if you are my submission are there if you see that we are getting wa like wa means wrong answer on test 7 and you can't see that the which test case are failed. You can't see that. Do you see that? Here's, here you're getting this one. Okay. Let's see that. But we really don't want. Okay. We really want to figure out how do I find test case and how do I it. Okay. If you see that our code, we are always considered A, B, C are distinct and greater than or equal to. There, there might be chances that A equal equal b there might be chances now because in the question they are not considered that a is like a is greater than b and greater than c are they mentioning or not tell me no so there are chances that a can be equal to b is there or not tell me is it possible now uh, yes so it is not mentioning here so that's why you have to consider like is, is it possible to if a equal equal b so so here you see that if i do a equal equal to so what would be the output tell me one minimum and two that is what that would be the answer yes or not see that See that our printing is something like that two one so we are getting failed on this test case so let's try to understand why this code is failed and we are correcting our code and then we'll try to get it we will make it this easy that is called debugging isko kya bolte hai? what we do here debug debug output so in debug our code what is the step you are getting wrong answer on test case x okay now what is your task you have to figure out figure out test case where your code fails now we we figure out this test case in our code field now after figuring out after figure out you should correct your code according to according according to new test case okay now you understand how do i debug it so you have to figure out which test case fail now after figuring out you should correct your code so let's try to correct your code a if a if a less than b if a is less than c so can i do something if a is less than equal to b is a less than equal to c let's try to it can i get the correct output or not right now Now you're getting, see that if I, something is changed, if I get is one, two. So what would be the output? Now we're getting correct output because it should be one, one. Let's try to do it again. One, two, two. And if I did here, so are the output is correct or not still? One, two, we are getting correct output, one, two. So let's try it is three, three here. And see that our output must be two comma three. And two comma three is now getting correct output. Okay. So you can do, you can correct the code here. See that we are going to the, this correct the code less than equal to. If I did again here too, it will not change anything. Okay. So here, see that if I did equivalent to this one you are getting correct output so here is like our code we now we are correcting our code here 
So see that we connect the code with greater than equal to. Before our code leak is is only uh, strictly greater than or less than equal to. Right now is is greater than equal to. Okay. So we change our code. Let's try to submit it and try to do it again and see that is it working or not again. 